Today in the Cool Stuff Guys Like channel, I'm gonna show you how to measure electrical current that is greater than 10 amps. And the only reason I really am making this video is if you look at virtually any digital multimeter, you're gonna see a little thing at the bottom that says maximum 10 amps. So normally with these, you would run them in line with your circuit and um, you, you can apply the load or turn whatever the device is on and get your current reading. Um, of course, if you do that, something over 10 amps, you're gonna blow up your multimeter at worst or more likely you're gonna at least um, pop the fuse that's on the inside of it. So the tool you're gonna wanna use when you get up above 10 amps is gonna be one of these. So this is still essentially a multimeter, but it has this clamp feature on the front. Um, there's a couple kinds of these. There's the cheaper option, which is um, basically a transformer around here. So there'll be a little metal to metal contact at the tip and it creates this um, transformer around the wire when it's, uh, when it's closed. But the better kind is going to be the Hall effect style. That's what this one is. This has no metal to metal on the end and it, and it has a small Hall effect sensor, which will read, um, it'll basically create a small voltage when there's a magnetic field and the meter can then translate that vo voltage into how much electrical current is flowing through that wire. So the beauty of the Hall effect version is you can also measure DC, not just AC. And that's super helpful because on something like a car, it doesn't take much to be above 10 amps when you're only at 12 volts. The second huge beauty of these meters is it's contactless. So I don't have to sh connect wires. I don't have to clip wires and run something in series. I just clamp it right around it. Uh, let's go ahead and I'll measure some DC stuff and I'll show you exactly how to do that. Here we are under the hood of this old F-150 and right now the truck's off. So we shouldn't really see much of any current reading, except that there is this little underhood light on. So I'll go ahead and whenever we're measuring DC, we've got a zero of the meter. And if I just clamp that around the positive battery clamp, I see a reading of just under one amp. And I should get that same reading if I were to clamp on the negative. Yeah, so you see the same reading, because it doesn't really matter which way it's flowing. Um, it's going to measure it regardless of the direction of the current. One thing, though, you'll see is I can only really clamp um, a power or a ground. I can't clamp a power and a ground because it'll cancel itself out and you'll get a reading of zero. So if I stick the clamp right up on this little light that has a power and ground wire, I'm not going to get a reading. Let's go ahead and I'll start the truck. So we'll have um, the coil and the fuel pump and some of this stuff that's gonna pull a lot more current. We'll get a much bigger reading here. So now we're getting 10 and a half amps I've got electric fans on the truck and they're not on. I'm gonna have to run it for quite a while for it to get hot enough to kick those on. But this is super awesome because when I pulled these fans, these are from a new um, Ford Explorer. I pulled them from the junkyard. I had no idea how much current they were gonna pull because there's no documentation on that. So I essentially had to figure that out before I could start sizing all the wires and things for my system. Now I'm going to shut this off and I'll show you how you can do this with AC current, which is going to be a little bit different. So here we have the plug for my air compressor, which is going to probably be above 10 amps. And when I kick it on, I can't just clip it on here because like I said earlier, we're going to cancel, cancel our own selves out. So what you need is one of these little guys, which is a um, line splitter. So this will split the current 
so I can clamp on just um, one wire. And something unique about this particular line splitter is you'll see it says X10. Um, and what that means is it's got a loop in here. So it's basically gonna create its own coil. It's gonna pass that current past here 10 times. So whatever the reading that I get is, is gonna be 10X multiplied. I'm gonna have to divide it by 10. Kind of just allows you to get a little bit more of an accurate reading, especially when you're dealing with really low current. So we'll go ahead and I'll kick this hideously loud thing on here. We'll clamp on. So we saw about 111 and taking in our 10x multiplier, what that means is 11.1 amps. I hope that's helpful for you. I'll put a link to the X-Tech amp clamp that I'm using here. These are super pretty high quality meters for way, way cheaper than you're going to pay for like a fluke. So if you're a DIYer, I think they're a pretty good meter. And I'll also put a link to the um, line splitter that I used in the video description. Um, that was just a pretty simple Klein, which Klein tools usually pay quite a bit of money for, but a line splitter is a pretty simple thing. So it really wasn't too bad. Thanks for watching.